welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Tech. This is our third episode, and well, we're getting used to it. <laughs> um, our segments today, our first segment is going to be web browsers, which you know what web browser is, what Google, Yahoo. Yeah. We're going to explain which one, you know, the we're best ones. Explain our first, yeah, all of them. Yeah, all of them, all and the then source, yeah. yeah. Okay, and our second segments are going to be MySpace versus Facebook. Which one's better? Why do you like it? Why don't we like it? Uh, certain reasons for that. Should you have one or shouldn't you have one? Yeah, compare and contrast. And then our third segment is going to be search engines, um, like Firefox, Internet Didn't Explorer. You say that? No. I mean web browsers. No. Oh, search engines. Okay. Our, <laughs> uh, yeah. So which one's better to use? Okay. Well, we're first going to start out with what we said before, web, web browsers. browsers. And we do have a list. So then we'll we'll show you that in a little while. Uh, yeah, the list of all the search engines we just kind of got online and just, you know, played around with the search engines. And uh, th there's a lot. There's a ton of them out there. I know, there. there's a ton. You have your open source ones. My favorite is Firefox. Would you like to... Ex what? Firefox. Search engines. Oh, search engines. Oh, my bad. Oh, okay. I'm getting Oh, my God, yo. Okay, my bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... <laughs> you want to do that then? Dude, can you play the list? Yeah, why don't you play the list this way? I don't get mixed up again. Thank you. Search okay, engines. search engines. Okay, let's try this again. Google, Yahoo, <laughs> Dogpile, Wolfram Alpha, Cooley, Hotbot, Hot All the Web, Lycos, Bing, Live Search, AOL, Gigablast, WebMD. Okay. Those are just some, but yeah, those yeah. are some. Okay, let's go um, to the topic. Okay, uh, the reason we put, down at the list, the reason we put Bing then Live Search was because Bing just became Live Search. And it, it took over. Yeah, it completely switched. I don't like either of them, but. They say it's supposed to be like a thinking engine, yeah, but. I don't. Yeah, it's not that good. If it's it was a thinking engine, it would be a lot better than what it is. It, I don't. It, it doesn't explain a lot. It doesn't, when you type it in, it comes up with like what Live Search did. It's Yeah. What I hate mm. about Live Search the most yeah. is that Windows forces you to use it in the Internet Explorer. You know that? Yeah, they won't let you on the sidebar yeah. there. It won't. You won't. Well, you no, have you to can. Use you can choose another one. They've they upgraded that in Windows Seven. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really like that. Uh, but yeah, I really don't like the search anyway. I'd prefer to go with Yahoo or Google. Yeah, and then Google, amazing search engine. If you haven't heard of it, I mean, you're living under a rock. Yeah. Google is like everybody knows of it. Definitely, everybody uses it. It's one of the better ones out there. The, well, uh, the ones that haven't been so told so much are um, like uh, Dogpile. We used to use Dogpile. All Dogpile time. is the combination of yeah. like Yahoo and a ton of other. And Wolfram Alpha. You, like Wolfram Wolf Alpha is like it's brand new actually. It's actually just Wolf came out like a month ago. A couple months ago, yeah. Wolfram Alpha is made for fax, straight up fax. So. What you do is you type in like your name, and it comes up with like statistics on your name, like how many names there is out that uh, there are yeah, out there. Yeah, you can compare you compare, compare names, put in like my Alan Billings and Thomas Billings, compare them, and say, and it will automatically tell you, oh, there are so many Thomas Billingses, there are so many Alan Billingses. And you can even yeah compare them between compare each them, other. Compare them, contrast them. Uh, the next thing is like you can put in math equations, put in a math equation in there, and it will solve it for you It'll automatically. Do it for you. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and it, then. Ah, oh, there's so much. Like, if you put in, like, a country, it comes up with just straight Yeah, it will tell you the statistics of the country. Uh, it'll, it's it's basically a mix of, like, CIA.org. Yeah, you know, that's the, that. the facts book. Yeah, yeah, fact list. And, like, a whole bunch of sites. There's a site called um, how many are there of me com or something like that. And it's just, like, a whole mixture of those, and it's just all rolled into one. The bad thing about this site is um, if you put in, like, what caused the Great Depression, It'll yeah, give you it facts no. on the Great Depression, but it won't straight up yeah, answer your question. It won't do anything for that. It, it's not you a, have to put in just basic information. Because it doesn't bring you to web pages where people talk. It's like if you facts. search yahoo.com, what it does is it gives you the uh, stock information yeah, for them. Yeah, stocks. It gives yeah. you, put in a stock name, and it will give you the information on them. It will not give you information like where is the closest Dunkin' Donuts. It won't give you that. Yeah, it's not that kind of search no. engines for facts. Those, like we said, were like more like MapQuest and you know stuff like that. You don't want it. You gotta choose that one for only information. That's only an informational database. Uh, MapQuest, like Al just said, is a. If you don't know about it, again, it's one of the bigger. Yeah, uh, more popular, finding place. Finding maps. Where you kind of just go to MapQuest.com. You type in where you want to go. 
starting location, ending location, yeah. and gives you the directions. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I believe Yahoo has Yahoo one too. has maps. Uh, Google has maps. Yeah. Yeah, you could go to anywhere. And then WebMD. WebMD is another oh, search my favorite. engine. Yeah. Um, it's one of the ones that if you type in like your symptoms of your illness, it actually come up with like what illnesses you could have. Like say you type yeah. in like runny nose, you could it'll come up with like flu, common yeah, cold. It will, yeah, whatever. it'll come up with common cold stuff like that. Also, the WebMD is also good for uh, other. Um, purposes such as like dieting it comes up with great yeah. for health stuff yeah. health information let's say you want to lose so much weight it'll tell you how what you should wasn't eat. it made by doctors like it, I'm i think it was me i'm not sure i'm pretty sure doctors edit the info so yeah i'm not sure it's pretty cool yeah and um yeah there's there's a whole there's a whole bunch out there that we don't even have on our list yeah because when we looked at the list go to like wikipedia and search your list yeah it comes it's up a big list we couldn't I, even we fit everything on there it would take us like the yeah, show it's a, yeah it would take a long time it would take in like a minute easy to do, yeah. no but more than that yeah. dude scrolling it was down. a long list and it gave you there's different ones there's ones it gave that are everything. just in the u.s and then there's ones that are just in china yeah japan and japan whatever. and stuff so it, we had to narrow those down as well yeah. but and then there's you know you got you have a whole bunch of them so you know you could choose from a variety of them but different ones give you different information yeah uh yahoo the yahoo search that one is, it, it's pretty good. It's like, I think, it's kind of like Google. Well, I think Google and but, Yahoo basically have the same search terms. Yeah, kind of. I think I, Google's better. I don't better. think they're any different. I think Google's a little better, but not by very much. Yahoo's yeah. okay. Yahoo, Yahoo's pretty good. Well, it depends. They've also changed, uh, Google has changed itself a lot within search, and so has Yahoo. Yahoo now has a thing where it will, auto, uh, Google and Yahoo do this, where it will automatically give you, like, information. Like, once you start saying, um... Uh, once you start typing something, I'm not gonna give you cu uh, results that may or may not be there. Yeah. Also, as well, it's also changed in the way that the fact is that uh, you type in like a math problem, like m uh, put in miles to feet. It will give you the equation automatically at the top of the page, but it also gives you other information as yeah, well. Yeah, the the web pages that yeah. you can go to. And also, what I like about Google that it's been doing is that it gives you a um, almost like a warning it'll say that this site is known for viruses yeah. down, don't download anything from the site but if you also uh download certain programs like uh certain avg antivirus programs it'll do that for you automatically yeah avg it, is one it, of the better yeah, ones yeah it'll automatically do that for you in google and it'll, it'll do all searches of all websites before you get into them yeah so i you know i like google better for the antivirus that they've been doing i would say google's the best for yeah. just web searches yeah um Google and Yahoo are the two. Yeah, the, the web two, searches. They're, they're 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 campaigning for each other. Yeah, and yeah. then Wolfram Alpha, hands down, is the best fact site, and then um, WebMD is the best for you know symptoms, illnesses. Now we really haven't talked about um, Lycos. Oh, uh, Lycos, yeah, it's a pretty good search. Lycos is okay. It's more of a Bing. It's more it's more like Bing than anything else. We really don't prefer it. Like I don't use Lycos rarely ever but yeah I use more Google or ask.com we don't need to talk about ask.com today yeah. um, actually we should go to a commercial you want to go to a commercial okay we're gonna go to a commercial we'll be back in a sec last year I spent all summer worrying about my kids playing in the streets or getting kidnapped but not anymore if you love the invisible fence for dogs then you'll love the invisible fence for kids before the invisible fence, little Johnny was getting into all sorts of mischief, just like my husband, Bob. Remember that whore, Bonnie? Oh, yeah. But we're here to talk about the invisible fence. Thank goodness for the invisible fence company, made right here in America. Pink for girls. And blue for boys. You guys are good to go and play. Satisfaction guaranteed. Just set the parameters of your yard and the intensity of the shot. The intensity varies from, ouch, that tingles, to, holy, I just fried my last brain cell. And I don't have to beat him anymore. Side effects may occur such as rashes and uncontrollable diarrhea. Oh, I feel no side effects at all. If only our neighbors had it. Never worry again. Also available for senior citizens and adults. 
come to think of it, you should be wearing a collar too. That's the last time we come over here again. Who needs friends anyway when you have the invisible fence? At least you know they're safe. Okay, and we're back. Hello, welcome back. Yep. Uh, this segment's going to be on MySpace versus Facebook. Okay, now we're debating which one's better. I know you guys have a lot of compliments, so it's like, oh my god, don't even get me started. But we we thought that it would probably be important. Yeah, I mean, MySpace. I know it's huge MySpace debate. and then Facebook. Yeah, it's it's like it's like Red Sox versus Yankees. They're pretty much like <laughs> two. They're like two completely different things. They are. I it, mean, my, well, MySpace. MySpace is trying to be more like Facebook, but MySpace, MySpace is more. Just I recently think, put this yeah, like, chat bar, chat like, bar just like Facebook. Yeah. Facebook's had it for years, but MySpace just put it there where you can look up friends where it's on, like an AIM yeah, kind of it's, thing, it's and same chat thing. with them, but it's, I don't, Facebook's is better. I don't really like MySpace. I have a MySpace. I don't really use it, but... It's, it's definitely a better because you can... I like it because you can put a background, yeah. and you can like customize your thing out to make it funny or whatever, but yeah. then... On top of that, Facebook is more, you can chat to people faster. Yeah. You have the chat, yeah, we and, have then, the, and then you have the comments, and then you have the wall, well, and then you have the one yeah, of them right the now whole thing. both you of them the, have. You have the kit, you can bang, you have all that with a bag of chips. Exactly. Yeah, and then, point exactly. But then, but, bo and then both of them both have the what am I doing right now kind of thing. Yeah. But the thing I don't like about MySpace is you have to, it's MySpace, uh, your name is, and then you have to type yeah. in. Well, no, Facebook, Facebook had the same thing. Facebook, they just got rid of it recently. Facebook took it out uh, a couple months ago. Uh, now it's it took it out because, whatever you want to say. Yeah, they, they, I think Facebook does a lot, uh, a lot better job uh, looking at what people are saying. Yeah, and then updating it Yeah, pretty quickly. And actually. saying, oh, well, pe our people's not liking this too much, but people Taking like this. Out. Okay, let's do this. And the thing I hate about MySpace is Tom. Tom is... Oh, my God. He's yeah. such a loser. Yeah. Who is he? I don't yeah, even know I don't, him. I don't know but who he, that Tom he, is. He I don't adds like comments, him. No. and he and I can't sends get rid friend of him. requests. I can't get rid of him. And he's... Yeah, I know. He'll always come back. He's... <laughs> always send you updates. Exactly. He's like the bad cat it's that like, you want to get rid of. I don't care about your updates. Can't I turn your updates off? I can't turn your email off? Yeah. No, but... I, I, I have to agree that it, I think, well, because um, MySpace has done an HTML and uh, Facebook's done PHP, everything updates itself faster. Yeah. So, and I think he's working on that. Yeah. I think Tom's working on that. But And there's you know. another thing I hate. MySpace actually sends you an email I about know. just random stuff. Like, it'll <sighs> say, oh, yeah, what are your friends doing now? Well, yeah, I could yeah. go on my MySpace and look at that. Yeah, I know. But at least Facebook sends you, like, less junk. Yeah, well, no. See, you, I went in, as Facebook sends me a lot of junk. No, but MySpace. I went in and I customized all that stuff. But MySpace sends you, now they send you something that says, um, uh, what, are, what are your friends doing right now? It gives you a list of all your friends. I know. But you can just go on MySpace it's and It's just like, oh, my God. Yeah, I know. It's, well, I don't like the emails. I don't like, I don't like them sending me emails because then yeah. it's like I read the letter twice. Mm. Facebook, MySpace. Okay, they send me a letter. Yeah. Bob just sent you a phishing invitation. It's just like, and then I'm going to read that on my email, and I'm going to read that on my MySpace. Yeah. What I, the heck? I, I, I don't know. And then there's that whole idea that um, uh, the, I hate the when you want to delete your MySpace, takes forever. I know. It takes I know. forever. MySpace, it's instantly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Facebook. Yeah. Oh, Facebook, yeah. Facebook, it's instantly. You go delete, okay, sorry, whatever, delete. MySpace, okay, it, okay we're why gonna, are you deleting? We're, why, we're delete this. We're considering your cancellation. Yeah, we're sending a request, <laughs> 48 hours. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're de we denied. So you email it to you, yeah. and then once you get your email, it's 48 hours, like, cancellation. Yeah, we, okay, yeah, 48 hour cancellation. What is oh, that? By the way, our cancellation was denied. Tom wants you to stay his friend. <laughs> and how many friends can you have on MySpace? I think Tom has, like, the over max limit. He has to because he's the owner. Yeah, I know. He just, like, got, like, 50,000. I Dude, I was reading... Um, the limit for MySpace for uh, Facebook for friends is 5,000 because yeah. I tried to break the record. I didn't bother trying. Yeah. I only got like 800 and then deleted a bunch of people. Yeah. But 5,000 people. And then this guy created a group in Facebook oh, to, get to get more friends that, that, for, that would join his friends. Yeah, and again, <laughs> it was, it was I also saw this group. Oh, that's another thing I like about MySpace and fa Facebook groups. Yeah, the groups are. Yeah. Facebook has better groups. Dude, I, I, I don't even know if MySpace has groups. MySpace has groups. They have groups. I, not very no, good ones. They have more. Yeah, they have groups. They have like but it's kind not, of fan yeah. sites, but not even good yeah. ones. They're, oh, by the way, make sure you become a fan of us. We're on Facebook. Let's yeah. talk text. Search us. We're there. Yeah. Anyway, but what I hate is the um, crap. What was I gonna say? Uh, what I hate is the um, e like the um, oh, crap. Go ahead. Do what you're saying. I, okay. <laughs> um, and uh, I just MySpace just doesn't 
like it doesn't update itself fast enough. It doesn't give yeah. good junk. Like again, the groups. What is up with that? They have like the fan do, China yeah, sites. Do you notice that their groups? But they're not even good. You At least that the they never say anything on those groups. You they they post the group and then they never say anything. If anything, it's spam. I cre yeah, well yeah well no the oh, phone numbers. I, I hate the phone numbers. And then on top of that, MySpace gives you these random girls send you crap. Trying to add you as a friend, just random people. Yeah, I know. More yeah. than Facebook by any. Well, do you Facebook I, not very often? You know how hard it is to find somebody in MySpace than Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Facebook you just search the school. MySpace, you search your school, and it comes up with people that are like 80 years old, 27. It's the, like, no, I want people that are my age school in the school. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's like, whoa. And okay. then on top of that, uh, Facebook automatically takes people out of your list. Yeah. And, and then, yeah, I don't even unlike, think MySpace does. No, that. I think MySpace takes time for. That's what I don't like about it. Just that it takes time and not mm -hmm. something I have to spare. Yeah. <laughs> I have to do other stuff like <laughs> do stupid stuff on the computer. Yeah. I have other stuff I got to do. And yeah. with our dial-up connection, it's like yeah. <laughs> oh, with forty-eight that. hours. Just it takes me forty-eight hours to load the page. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> and you, yeah, that's what. I, another thing is, it's all with MySpace. It's really slow. It, yeah, it's really well, slow if you have a slow connection. Well, the, what I like about my, what one of the things is that you get to set your mood. Oh yeah, yeah. In, yeah. My, in Facebook, in, and you can't uh, do it on MySpace. In, no, 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 you MySpace. can't do it on Facebook. No, you can do it on Facebook. But you have to add an application. Yeah, yeah I don't like that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't like the apps. There's so many apps. It's just like, okay, cool, you got apps. All right, we got ten minutes left. Okay, we're gonna go to a commercial. Okay, well, we'll continue this later. Okay. Yeah. This is close to the babe. You think this is close to the babe? Wait until you see the first show of hysterical sports. That's close to the babe. Last year I spent all summer worrying about my kids playing in the streets or getting kidnapped, but not anymore. If you love the invisible fence for dogs, then you'll love the invisible fence for kids. Before the invisible fence, little Johnny was getting into all sorts of mischief, just like my husband Bob. Remember that whore, Bonnie? Oh yeah. But we're here to talk about the invisible fence. Thank goodness for the Invisible Fence Company, made right here in America. Pink for girls. And blue for boys. You guys are good to go and play. Satisfaction guaranteed. Just set the parameters of your yard and the intensity of the shot. The intensity varies from ouch that tingles to holy, I just fried my last brain cell. And I don't have to beat him anymore. Side effects may occur such as rashes and uncontrollable diarrhea. Oh! I feel no side effects at all. If only our neighbors had it. Never worry again. Ice cream man! Ice cream! Also available for senior citizens and adults. Kind of think of it, you should be wearing a collar too. That's the last time we come over here again. Who needs friends anyway when you have the invisible fence? At least you know they're safe. Finally, that's over. Yeah, now we can have a cigarette. I'll take one. Me too. Just 
doesn't mean they're role models. Does anyone need a smoke? Yeah, I'm dying for one. Yeah, hand one over. Just because they're cool doesn't mean smoking is. Does anyone have a cigarette in their pocket? Sure. Role models rock. Smoking does not. Okay, Hello, we're back. Welcome back. Now, I'm going to finish up my last little part of my, sp my About my MySpace versus, versus Facebook. Facebook. Like I was saying, the apps, it's like, you could create your own apps, but there's so many, and it's like overwhelming. And it's so hard. You have and to learn. Yeah. You have to like learn HTML basically yeah, to I create know. your own app. Yeah. And yeah, you can find them online. Yeah. But I, yeah. I, I definitely I do like that. Different. But they got them everywhere for every site for everything. But they definitely should do that too. Yeah. Facebook. They definitely yeah, they should. For, they have or at least Twitter create. Or at least create more apps on Facebook. Yeah. There's not a lot you I can know. do well, except they talk got to apps people. on MySpace too. But you know. Yeah. yeah. No. I'm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But it's just not as easy to add them. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go to our next segment. We're not gonna. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're just going to go to our next segment, next which is segment. Uh, web browsers. Web browsers. Yeah, which one's better? Which uh, one's we better? actually have a list for you. Yeah. And? Here's the list. Here it is. Here's web browsers. Web browsers. Uh, Firefox, Firefox, Internet Explorer, SeaMonkey, Safari, Opera, Flock, Google Chrome, and? Epiphany. Epith Epiphany. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Interesting those, are, those are just some. <laughs> Again, there's, yeah, there's a lot more. Every list we make, we have to delete a ton of them. Yeah, we have to. So many. There it is. Yeah. There's just a lot. Um, and then. Well, there's you know you've got your other ones that come that. Uh, well, what other ones have we tried? We tried Flock. Uh, we Ace, did Ace Connections or yeah. something like that. But the, those are the Avent. main ones. A yeah. A yeah. Avent. Okay. But yeah. my favorite is Firefox. Because it's open source. It's an, yeah, it's open. It's source. open source, which uh, which we've talked about in the past. We had um, I don't know. What do you want? Like. You know, I, there's, you can add. I think the thing I love about it, you can add applications where you can just go on well, and that's, have. That's open source. Exactly, yeah. but you can go in and just like they give you a list. You can add like the emailer at the bottom that tells you the email. Yeah, you have your like Yahoo Mail. You can add. You, there's an application where you can add Yahoo Mail and Google Mail. Yeah. Up to well, up to as many mails as you want, and it will tell you what when, when you have mail. Yeah, and you open double up click the right and it'll open up the mail. Yeah, I that's, like that a lot. I had that on mine. And there's. A, there's a lot of add-ons you can get, and you on top get of, thousands of add-ons. I know there's a ton, and yeah. then on top of that, there's a. Um, uh, I love the updates. The updates. It, it yeah. updates constantly. Well, it's better. It's better to actually just uninstall it and then reinstall it than yeah. to update it. If you update it, then you get some of the updated features. But it's better to just reinstall it completely. Yeah, download it. Again. If you reinstall it completely, then you're getting the full thing. I know their latest. Their, the one of their latest. Uh, uh, when I read. Three point five point yeah. one or something. Yeah. What, when I reinstalled it, I actually yeah, they have tabs, but you never knew that in the last version. And now that they now that you know they have tabs, you can use them. But you didn't ever knew they had tabs unless you press Control T, which is a new tab. Yeah. Or Control W to close the tab. Or you can go to File and Open Tab, buddy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, but they wouldn't know that. You didn't know that until okay, you saw it so on the screen. Okay, so you know our opinion, Firefox. Firefox. We love beats Firefox, it. but let's well, talk about some other ones. Opera. Opera. Yeah. Opera is another good one. I mean. Opera, I like Opera for... It's, I'm pretty sure it's another open source one. It is, but what I don't like about it is that it's too... Um, rem it remembers too much. Yeah, and Firefox it, remembers your passwords as well, but this remembers you can set a your forms password. and everything else, which Firefox does too, but this one, you can put in your name and your address and all that, but why, why would you want to do that? If no, you, like, yeah. let's say you go to a site and then you just... You, you change don't it. want that information Yeah, you want to change there. it. It's yeah. a and you have to erase it, and then it's like, well... And you might not even know what's in there. And it's also it's also more for fast connections. Yeah, it, it is. It uses more for a lot fast. more bandwidth. Than it does. Yeah, yeah. You got a point there. But they don't have too yeah. many apps. The apps are basically on Opera already. Yeah. So what you got in Opera, you're stuck with. And there's also less updates. It doesn't but come out with 3.5. Another one 5. that we like a lot is Google Chrome. Google I Chrome. I love Google Chrome. It's actually w much faster than like Google most. Chrome is probably the fastest web browser out there. Yeah. With the, no question. Yeah, it's it's a great web browser, but again, it's not as open. As it's not an it's Firefox. not an open source, but it is. And Google, well, this is Google Chrome the browser, not the operating system. But Google Chrome, 
is like just because it's it's faster because uh, I don't know how why why would you say it was faster? I don't know. I guess it just opens less junk when you open your it, page. It could be. It could be because it and just it uses transfers right there. It's just so much faster. Even if you're, even with your slow internet connection, it's a bit faster. Mm. I think it's just because it uses less band because it uses less bandwidth and everything mm -hmm. like that. But that, I I would have to say Firefox, Google Chrome. Yeah. But I'll tell you this: I absolutely hate Internet Explorer. Yeah. Internet I, Explorer, Internet Explorer Eight. They're, they're trying, trying to copy. copy. They're trying yeah, to copy yeah. Firefox and Opera, but they're not succeeding. Who they think they is, you know? And it's <laughs> really bad, even with Microsoft itself, because they keep trying to open up junk. And it's probably one of the worst for viruses, because it, it just, yeah, it doesn't protect you. Even though it says it protects you, it doesn't protect you. Yeah, okay, Windows Defender. It just ah. copies. Internet Explorer's been copying off of Firefox for so long. Now they have it so you save your passwords and everything. Yeah, Useful. but. But it's not as good as Firefox. And they tried to get add-ons, which didn't, to get add it didn't work it didn't out work very out. well at all. They don't really have a lot of add-ons. And, 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 like yeah. and like we said in the past in our first segment with... Um, cert, uh, Google Chrome. Go no, 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 in our, no, 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 our first segment. Oh, About how it engines. forces you to use Bing. Yeah. It forces mm -hmm. you to use the Bing search. And it's like, well, I don't want to use Bing search. I want to use Google. Firefox. You have to go to Google. Yeah, Firefox automatically has you use Google, which I like. And you can also set it for tons you, of other ones. And if you go into and if you go into Firefox and you type in the uh, address bar, if you type in uh, recipe search. for uh, recipe for a good hot dog or whatever, I don't know, recipe for a cake or whatever, it will search it automatically through Google. Or it'll or it'll bring it to the best page. Yeah, the, the best page. So if you have or a search result you want, you either search it in the Google toolbar or you search it in the address bar. Yeah, either way. on the side there. And you can add them. You can add, you can, well, you can add it in all of them. Any yeah. of them you can add. Most you of them. Say, okay, well, I want it in ask.com instead of google.com or I want it in yahoo.com instead of Google. Yeah. So it's, you know, it, I actually like that. Yeah, definitely. And I love the fact that Firefox, I love Firefox in general. That's our favorite one. Yeah. So I think in the well, order. Well, of in the mail, as far as mail goes, um, you, it, yeah, Internet Explorer forces you to use in Outlook Express, and yeah. I don't like Outlook Express because it's, it's top, a three. top three mail, yeah. which is prone to viruses. I would prefer, prefer yeah, online mail like Yahoo or, Yahoo Google, or scans Gmail. Yahoo scans for the viruses, yeah, yeah. and Gmail scans for yeah. viruses. So I prefer to use something like Gmail, like we use for the show. Mm. Let's talk tech one at gmail.com. So, but I prefer to use, be using that. Okay. And um, I prefer to be using that rather than, you know, the, because you could switch it. Yeah. You can say, you could go into the settings and say, okay, let's um, change my mail from Outlook Express to Yahoo Mail. Yeah. And then it'll automatically uh, switch you whenever you click on a link to Yahoo Mail and it'll send all the information. Okay. That's our uh, segment for today. Our next week's shows is going to be um what's our next week's show yeah what's our it's yeah, going there to be it is. Okay. smooth wall which smooth is wall. an open source firewall program that we use yeah we use it actually yeah we actually use and it and then it's wireless versus wired by us. uh yeah wireless versus wired basically we're talking about which mice yeah wi mice and then wireless even mice internet. wireless keyboards yeah. why do, would you prefer to have a wired keyboard or a wireless keyboard and even that's our basic question and even internet Inter yeah, Ethernet internet line wise, or yeah, and all that. Okay, yeah. so that basically wraps it up. We'll see you next week. Peace.